welcome back everyone so in this video i will be sharing three simple steps that you need to apply for getting the faster performance of your windows 10 and windows 11 and this will be surely fixing any kind of poor performance lagging or the freezing problem so now on my end you can see guys i'm using a regular windows 11 and here you can see the utilization is quite high the process count is around 137 the thread is around 19 uh, 20 1950 and the handle count is around 53,000. And even if you have a look on the memory usage, it's a going around 57 and the 60%. And higher, this number will be the poor performance and the lagging issues you will have. All right, so we will try to optimize this and reduce the number so that you can get the best performance without any kind of lagging issues. All right, so let's go with the first step where you have to disable all the unwanted services running in the background. Now for this, I have already created a bat file. So you can come to the drive link. You can click on download. Click on download anyway. Now don't worry. I will open the file and show you that it's absolutely safe because I have created by my own and not download it from the internet. So go with the instructions. Click on keep anyway. And once you have downloaded a file. Now let me go ahead and show you. If I right click on it and click on edit. And here you can see that it includes all kind of services that I have set to disable so that you can save your time instead of manually disabling it. So just have a look here. And if I bring up the services, so you can check from here as well. The first one is the W search. And if I go to Windows search and if I double click on it, so you can see it says service name W search and right now it's running. Okay. Similarly, AXINST, which I believe this one. If I double click on it, so here it is. And you can see that it's not been disabled. And so on guys, if you want to check them, you can check all these services. And once you are satisfied and confirmed, now you can come to this bad file. Just make a right click on it and click run as admin. Click on yes. And it will be quickly disabling all the unwanted services. If I just close the services and again reopen it, so you will find that all these services are being disabled now. Assigned access manager has been disabled. Background intelligence transfer service has been disabled. The bit locker has been disabled. Now in case if you don't want to disable any of these services, then you can go ahead and enable it later on. All right, so this is the first step that you have to do. Now next, again, bring up your favorite browser. In the search, you have to type win11 dbloater github. And you will be getting the first link of GitHub Refire Win 11 Deep Load, a simple easy way to use PowerShell script to deep load Windows 10 or Windows 11. So you can use this not only for Windows 11, but also for Windows 10. Now, if you want to read more about it, then you can go ahead and read it. And once you scroll down, you will be getting two different options. Either you can use a PowerShell script or you can download the file directly from here. So I will be downloading the file. So I will click on download the latest version of the script. And once it get downloaded, open the downloaded folder. Right click on it. Click on extract all. Extract the file. Once extracted, again open it. Now here you have to look for a file by the name run. This is the one that you have to look for. Again, if you want to check it, is it safe or not? Then you can check either on the virus total or you can manually open and check it. There is nothing suspicious. Okay, so right click on the run file here. Click run as admin. Click on yes and then within few seconds only you will be getting this kind of PowerShell window. It says press any key to continue. So press any key and then it says default mode. Apply the default setting. Custom mode. Modify the script to your need. App removal mode. Select and remove apps. Now here you have to go with the second option. So press number two. That is the custom mode. Then hit the enter key. Next it says press and don't remove any application. No, we have to remove it. So we will skip it. Number one, only remove the default selection of the bloatware app from the app list.txt. So if you open the win11 debloater folder, here you will find a file somewhere by the name app list. And if you open it, it will list you all kind of application that it will be debloated if you go with this first option. As you can read here, it says only remove the default selection of bloatware app from the app list.txt. So if you only want to remove all these application here, and all these services then you can go with this option and then you have removed default selection of bloatware app as well as mail in calendar app 
and the third one is select which application to remove and which to keep so if you want to go with the first option in order to debloat all these application then you can go with the first one i will be going here with the third one so i will press the number three key again hit the enter key and this will bring up this kind of box here and it will show me all kind of application that i can check so here you have to spend some time like adobe i don't need amazon i don't need i will keep this selected so here you can see almost all the items are being checked so whichever you need you have to look for that particular bloatware or application and you have to uncheck it so tons of things here like 3d builder bing finance bing news i don't need all of them microsoft edge if you also want to remove the microsoft edge then you can check this option from here microsoft gaming app uh, if you don't do the gaming then you can go ahead and check this option but if you want to do the gaming then you can uncheck it get help i will also remove it ms paint i need it so i will keep it microsoft news i don't need onedrive i want to remove it outlook for windows i want to remove it paint i want to keep microsoft people i will remove it remote desktop if you are not using the remote desktop so here you have to manually look for each and every application and then accordingly you have to select and unselect the options so once you are done then finally you have to click on confirm then you say disable xbox gaming screen recording all right so i don't need the screen recording or the xbox game bar so i will press the y key then it says remove all pin app from the start menu this cannot be reverted uh yes i will remove all the application from the pin menu so that i can have the clean windows 11 again i will press the y key so for this you have to choose three options here don't remove any pinned app remove all the pin app from the start menu for this user only so i will press number one key because i have only one user account control again hit the enter key disable telemetry diagnostic data activity history app launch tracking so yes i will disable it so again i will press y hit the enter key disable tips trick suggestion add in start setting notification explorer and lock screen so yes y key disable remove bing search bing ai kotana yes disable windows copilot yes recall snapshot yes i want to disable it restore the old context menu yes i will restore it do you want to make any changes to the taskbar and the related services no do you want to make any changes to file explorer no do you want to disable any context menu option uh no i don't want to but if you want then you can try this please enter to confirm your choices and execute the script or press ctrl c to quit so just press the enter key again and the process will now be started and you can see that it's removing all kind of bloatware from your windows 11 or windows 10. So just wait for a few seconds only it won't take much time okay and it only took a few seconds the script to complete it successfully so i will press any key to continue or i can close it now we are only remaining with the final step where you have to click on your windows search type sys dm dot cpl hit the enter key now here from the top menu option you have to click on advanced under the performance you have to click on settings now here we have to disable all the unwanted animation so that we can get the better performance without any kind of lagging so choose the third option adjust for best performance and only enable few of the important one like animate windows when minimizing show thumbnail instead of icons and smooth edges of a screen font click on apply click on ok click ok again and now we are all done go ahead and restart the computer and then i will show you what kind of difference it has made all right so the computer has been restarted now this time uh, let's check the context menu that we have selected okay great so now you can see we have the old context menu so that is another benefit that you got from here and then if i click on the windows icon so yes we can have the pinned neat and clean page none of the application is showing here so now let's bring up the task manager and see what kind of difference it has made at bingo so now you can see the process the thread and the handle count has been decreased a lot if you compare before we have done the optimization and i can bring that on the left hand side you can see and right now you can see there is a huge difference so now of course you will be getting the better performance because you have optimized your windows 10 and windows 11 with the three best settings now part of that you will not be having any trouble operating your windows 11 or doing any kind of work everything will be working smoothly
all right so that's all guys for today and hopefully you enjoyed the video if yes don't forget to like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Bye bye